this season by a tight end in Bills franchise history. 81 catches, 777 yards, and three touchdowns. We're going to improve on all of those numbers in your sophomore year. I know Dalton Kincaid, how are you? I'm doing great. Good morning. I know I begged you. I begged you. Like, I guilted you into coming on the show. <laughs> no, I like not, see Dalton and I'm like, me. listen here, rookie. You're coming on my show and you're like, yeah, lady, go away. And now, and now I've, I've sufficiently guilted you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you had an awesome rookie season. You you came to the Bills as a first round draft pick. There was high expectations. You delivered, finishing second on the team in total grabs. One memorable reception came in your first game in prime time. Okay, we're in front of Bills Mafia, Orchard Park. Take me through this play. Um, I mean, it was a broken play. Uh, Josh yeah. pulls out, and you know, being the best quarterback in the league, he does special things outside the pocket, and then just scoring. You know, you think, like, what, what am I going to do the first time I score? And I think this was, like, week eight, so it had taken a, quite a while. And I just 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 jumped up there and kind of just blacked out from there. What's it like when the play breaks down, as it does, and Josh Allen just does his thing? What is that improv like? It's It took a while, actually, to kind of get used to it because I feel like every quarterback's different. Um, but with Josh, it was just, you know, having that, in game experience and just figuring out, you know, what he likes to do and he'll throw the ball. It doesn't matter where the hell you are. He'll throw the ball across his body, across the field. So, uh, it's, uh, still a work in progress. Okay. Well, let's give, give you some credit though. You, you quickly as a, I mean, as a rookie in that offense with the changes on offense, OC switch in the middle, you r rose to be a really reliable target like, for Josh Allen. Why were you, why do you think, the chemistry built the way that it did? Like, was there a moment in the season where it clicked? I don't know if there was necessarily a moment where it clicked. I think it was more just kind of just like spending time with him, getting to know him and uh, just creating like that friendship. I think that's the biggest thing is just, you know, having a close friendship with all your teammates. And uh, the more that continues to grow, I feel like the, the stronger our on-field chemistry will be. Yeah, in this off season, there's some, some changes losses you have to say bye to Gabe Davis of course um, Mitch Morse um, you add Curtis Samuel Joe Brady do you think this how are, what are you most excited about with the changes you know I don't even know what to expect because I've never you know gone from a season with everybody to the next season when half team's gone it's just been yeah. like college when people graduate uh, even like transferring wasn't too big when I was there so uh, it'll definitely be a change for me, but uh, I think I'll be a little bit more comfortable just kind of knowing, you know, like the routine and everyone in the building and uh, a little bit, you know, how the offense uh, goes. I'm sure you learned a lot. Stefan Diggs probably also sort of helped you come along. I know he's your boy. What advice, so if you're talking to Curtis Samuel, you're at OTAs or a workout or whatever, what is the one thing of advice that you'd give him with Josh Allen? Shoot, I didn't. I don't even know if I'm at the point where I'm, I can hand out advice yet. <laughs> and that's why we love you, Dylan. Um, I don't know. Just be you. I think that's uh, what Joe Brady always preaches: is you know, be you with us. And I think that's the biggest thing. So, uh, you know, just come in and be yourself. That's with you know anyone coming in joining our team. I have it on good authority from Sal Capaccio, who texted me before the show, saying you're a huge sports card collector. Are we talking Pokemon? Are we talking NFL? What is the white whale? What is the car that you need in your collection? Let's manifest it for you. Uh, I'm not. I'm not too big into Pokemon. It's okay. more sports card. Uh, but I, I think that was kind of the thing like, that I wanted to do was you know get a sports card from you know most of my teammates that I play with and get them to sign it because those are kind of invaluable and it's just like a little memory held there. Uh, so I don't know. I, I got a cool Josh Allen one the other day. I got to get him to sign it when I get back. Um, Is he just going to sign your card? What? <laughs> I know. I feel like a little, I feel like a kid. Going yeah. up, so I, I, I'm going to be like, yeah, this is, this is for like my cousin or something. Um, but yeah, no, Josh, Josh is really, really generous when it comes to, you know, people requesting signatures. So uh I don't know if that'll be too much of a hassle. I think that's amazing. I have a question for you. You, I saw you at the Galaxy game. It was Messi taking on Galaxy. Miami was in town. And you're just, like, hanging out with Puka. Is that allowed? Are y'all not, like, rivals from Utah? What's going on here? 
I think people that's something I'd love to talk about actually. Bro. People blow the the Utah versus BYU rivalry so out of proportion, which I kind of do enjoy just because you see the the hecticness between the two fan bases, but uh no Puga's been a good friend of mine for quite some time now, so it, it, I was a fan watching him this year with all his success, but we play him next year, so I can't root for them one of those weeks at least. No um, friend, yeah. No friendship bracelets between you two maybe. Like you and Travis no, Kelsey do. Yeah. Uh, are you, are you going to tight end? Camera. What is it? Tight end? It's tight end academy, right? Why don't I, uh, I, tight end? University. Tight end U. I, yeah, they did. A, they did a soft launch, I think, yesterday with like dates for it. So uh, if they'll have me again, I will definitely be there this year. What? Did, what was like the one thing that you look back and you're like, that was the best part of that? We have thirty seconds. Sorry. We had a raising canes truck <laughs> when we were there. I don't Shot know. Her. I can't give free shout outs, but. Raising Canes, you know, still is not in Buffalo yet, so. Franchise that shit. Get on top of it, Dalton Kincaid. You'll make a fortune up there uh, in Buffalo. Buffalo loves you. You're, uh, I'm so looking forward to your sophomore season. I don't know, you look like you're outside of a Jamba Juice or Chipotle. Go enjoy whatever you're doing right now and the off season, and we'll talk soon. Thanks, Dalton. Sounds good. Thanks, Kay. See ya.